distinguished guests, friends, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor and a great pleasure to have all of you here on this occasion to celebrate the launch of this book, Leaders and Ladders. We really appreciate your support and encouragement. We also thank you for being here and taking out time from your hectic schedule. Your appreciation has been a source of strength for us and we hope it continues to be so. Mr. Jain has already talked about the book, the various aspects of this book and given you the broad picture of its content as well as its intent. So without being repetitive, I would just like to add few lines about this journey and the book. The project started more than a year ago when Mr. Jain offered me this opportunity to help him in writing this book. There was some initial hesitation, but since I was on sabbatical and had free time on hand, I viewed this as an opportunity to learn. With my background as a trainer and more than 20 years of experience in administration, I always had many ideas which I wanted to share. And I believed that this is an ideal platform. And today I can say, I'm glad I did this. The basic idea of this book is to help entrepreneur in fulfilling their dreams of building big organizations and helping a leader to get into a higher positions. The book basically talks about people. We have discussed various concepts which are easy to understand without using big management jargons. We have tried to explain simple concepts of efficient management of self as well as the organization. The book is based on our own experiences and learnings. So we hope you all can relate to many situations and concept explained here. For example, the chapter on special traits of people explains how to interact and deal with different kind of people. Instead of doing a proper analysis of their strengths and weaknesses of various traits, we often fail to notice or choose to ignore them. One of my favorite chapters is on hierarchy, where we have given concepts like 10 steps of evolution along with the learning chart. It will help the reader chalk out their career plan as it helps in identifying the areas where learning and still skill development is needed to rise up the ladder. The question is, what is limiting your progress and how to fulfill the gaps, ro gaps between roles, expectations and performances? All this is explained in the book. Seemingly un inconsequential yet important habits can make a lot of difference to your efficiency and hence impact your growth. Doing things right at the first instance, systematic working, and maintaining a time summary. These are few of the concepts we have talked about in the book. As the name suggests, the book is about various ladders a leader needs to climb before becoming a successful entrepreneur. We would have accomplished what we have set out to do if all of our readers take away something from this book. I would just say happy reading and maybe happy holy and thank you once again for being with us. Thanks a lot.